Pisces, this is EJ from Toronto Tarot. I hope you guys are having a good end to your weekend. I hope you had a good start to your week. I hope the month of March has been pretty cool to you. So this is Pisces, how's your money, how's your honey, March, April 2019. We do three for the money, three for the honey, one for overall energy, and three for guidance from the universe, and I will pull an oracle card from the Trust Your Vibes deck by Sony Chauquet. One more shuffle, Pisces, one more shuffle, and just a reminder, I do my cards straight up, I don't do reversals. All right, so let's see what we got going on here for my Pisces. Pisces is my, uh, what is Pisces? Aries is my rising, Pisces is my moon sign. So I'm probably just as emotional, probably more emotional than most Pisces because I have a tendency to be stubborn too. So that just makes things worse. All right, Pisces, let's see what we got going on. So in your money row, the first card is the Queen of Wands. Second card is Six of Swords. Third card is King of Cups. For your honey roll, your first card, Ace of Cups. Second card is the Eight of Swords. Third card is the Strength card. Bottom of the deck, your overall energy. Ten of Coin. Hmm. All right, Pisces, let's see what we got going on for you. So, with your money, it looks like you had a very good opportunity to do something with your money. You were very confident about it. And it looks like you were just in a wait and see mode right now. Whatever it was or whatever it is, you may have applied for a job and you're just waiting to hear back. You may be at the end of an investment period and you're just waiting for quarterly reports to come out to see how much money you made. Uh, could be any number of things, but right now you are you're confident that you did the right thing. Uh, and whatever happens from this point, as far as your money is concerned with the Six of Swords here, it's telling, you, telling me you're trying to move out of choppy water. So... If you've been working a job for the last two or three or four years and you've been only kind of piddling around the twenty or twenty-five or thirty thousand dollar mark, you're trying to get out of that, you're trying to step it up a bit and get out of that choppy bill to bill, month to month, paycheck to paycheck energy and get into a little smoother sailing with your money. At the end of that, with the King of Cups, you're just chilling. You are just chilling. You are not doing anything. Um, if anything, I would tell you to try to keep your thoughts as positive as possible <clears throat> if, with regards to your money. Um, don't let a lot of negative thoughts, don't do a lot of talking to negative people that are going to tell you, oh girl, you know, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, man, you know, you should have done that with your money. I did. Well, hi, hi, however it's resonating with you. Don't get caught up in all that. Just just sit back and chill. What you're looking for, what you're waiting for, it's going to come to you. Now, understand, it may not come to you as fast as you'd like because you're still traveling through Mercury Retrograde. That'll go on until the end of this week coming up, which will be either the 28th or the 29th. So it may take a little bit. There may be some delays, and they may run it well into the end of April, the 1st of May. Know that. But right here, you're chilling. And you need to continue to chill. With your overall energy being the Ten of Coins, the time and energy, you can just read what I wrote there, time and energy paying off for everything, but particularly for your money. Uh, with this energy as it's relating to your love life, you are at the beginning of something. You've started to see somebody or you're getting ready to, you kind of made a decision, yeah, I guess I'm going to hang with this person for a minute and see where it goes. And it's just that kind of energy. It's new and you're going to see where it goes. You haven't really committed to it one way or the other. Not in your head you haven't. You may have been saying, oh yeah, but in your head you're thinking, yeah, well, hmm, we'll see. Either way, 
Don't let your beliefs keep you prisoner to some bullshit so that you don't get the best benefit out of this new relationship. You know, put them blinders on and stand around all them knives out in the field by yourself. Feel free, but universe is saying, huh, hmm, there's no need. There's no need. 